Hi, and welcome to Transparent with Tina. I am Tina Marks, your host. Welcome back. Today, I am on my own. I'm not interviewing anybody, um, but uh, I have a great show planned for you. So I make it a practice to always get, have my head in a book. The beauty, if you look in the beauty of what's going on right now in the world in the pandemic is I always try and find the beauty somewhere. And because I'm not going to the gym, I am, uh, I was hiking and the, the trails got too um, crowded. So now I'm, I'm, I'm walking four miles with my dog. So it gives me, uh, did I say four hours? Four miles. I'm not, I'm not walking for hours, but I am walking for about an hour and a half. So it gives me an hour and a half to be out in the beautiful uh, sunshine with my dog and um, listen to uh, an audiobook. And I was listening to um, Gabrielle Bernstein. Um, I, I always have to go between two and three books. So she's one of the ones that I'm listening to. And uh, the name of the book is Super Attractor. And um, she came across uh, a point that I want to bring up that I've heard a lot about. And um, it's, we talk about energy frequency and that you want to always be carrying a, a lighter frequency. And so she actually goes through all um, from one to 22 of all the different frequencies, labels them, and I'm gonna read those in just a minute. And, but really what I found important was so when we get stuck in an emotion, which is um, emits a frequency, so you can imagine that, let's say, depression uh, would be a much lower frequency than joy or passion or creativity or so on. So once we are in that um, emotion, um, there are ways of getting out of it. And taking it one step further, I'm, I'm going to go through that, but one step further is that unless you know from one to 22, the different emotions that equate to the different frequencies, you don't really even know if you're going up the ladder. So there's a far stretch, let's say, between depression and joy, right? So if you're in depression, um, you, may be making, you may be making progress, you may have gone up to emotions, but you may not know that unless you know all of them. See what I'm saying? So if you're, let's, let's say you're at number 19, you know, your, your, your goal is to get to number one, but you might have jumped up to 16 and you're not even giving yourself the credit that you've jumped up to 16 because if you didn't know what 16 was, you wouldn't know that you've moved. You know, so many times, like when we're on that, we're, we're in, at work, for example, and um, uh, especially entrepreneurs, when we, you know, we don't have somebody telling us what to do, we have to create our own business. And you may be, you know, I, I coach real estate agents and you, they may be making their calls, but they're not getting the appointments, they're not getting the listings, they're not getting somebody under contract. And, you know, unless you are keeping track of everything that you're doing, you may say to yourself, what's the point? I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not moving forward at all, but you are. So this is the same kind of idea. So let me first read the uh, number one through 22 of all the different emotional states, emotional states, emotional attitudes, because you know, your, your emotions dictate your attitude. Uh, and we're gonna put it here on the screen so you can take a screenshot of it and then print it out for yourself so you will have this as a index um, for yourself. So the first one is joy. Um, and with joy is appreciation, empowerment, freedom, and love. Number two is passion. Number three is enthusiasm, eagerness, and happiness. Number four is positive expectation and belief. Number five is optimism. Number six is hopefulness. Number seven is contentment. Number eight is boredom. Number nine is pessimism. Number 10 is frustration, irritation, and impatience. Number 11 is overwhelmment, feeling overwhelmed. 
Number 12 is disappointment. Number 13 is doubt. Number 14 is worry. Number 15 is blame. Number 16 is discouragement. Number 17 is anger. Number 18 is revenge. Number 19 is hatred and rage together. Number 20 is jealousy. Number 21 is insecurity, guilt, and unworthiness. And number 22 is fear, grief, desperation, despair, and powerlessness. And by the way, this uh, scale is from um, Abraham Hicks. Uh, if you've never heard any of, um, you just Google Abraham uh, Hicks. He's a, a, it's, it's kind of a story. Esther Hicks is being channeled through him, but you, you, I'm not gonna go into that today, but that's where this scale is from, is the Abraham Hicks uh, teachings. So, um, so let me give you a, for example here when I was saying, so if you're an emotion and um, you don't feel like you're getting any better. So let's just say you are at jealousy. Okay. Um, and then all of a sudden you feel like you're blaming people. Okay. You're jealous and uh, you're, you're blaming your ex-boyfriend for it instead of blaming the person he's having an affair with. I don't know, I'm just bringing something up, okay? But, well, then you've gone up from jealousy, you've gone up one, two, three, four, five emotions. Jealousy is 20, blame is five. So while they're not the most desired emotions, you obviously always wanna get up to number one, which is joy, appreciation, empowerment, freedom, and love. But if you understand that you're making your way, way up the scale and you commend yourself of that, you're going to make it up the ladder quicker as opposed to not knowing that you're going up the ladder and just you know beating yourself up for not feeling like you're in a good mood. Doesn't that make sense? So, um, and, it, and it's very interesting. So. Uh, as as um, Gabrielle points out in her book, and I actually point out in my book, the best way is to get from for, to, to climb the ladder of emotions and and attitude is to do something that feels good to you. The worst thing we could do is blame ourselves and feel badly that we are in the state that we're in. You know, beating yourself up never has a good outcome. So do something that makes you feel better about yourself and then you can see, and then watch your benchmark throughout the day. You know, it, this is called conscious living. When you're more conscious about the way that you live, your life is just gonna get better and better and better. Otherwise, you are living your life basically by default and you're being led around by your circumstances. And this is a perfect example of what we're going through this pandemic is you can either look at uh, everything is going wrong or you can look for all the opportunities that it is bringing. You know, one thing is it's, it's a forced time out to realign, to readjust, to make some new choices, to get back in touch with, with your passions and your values, what is valuable to you, not what was valuable to you. You know, you, you, we all have this time to make better and good choices for our health, for the health of others, and for the planet. So stay well, again, um, get familiar with this, uh, this list and make this a daily practice. And I hope it helps and I'll see you on our next show. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. It's Tina Marks, M-A-R-X TV. You can also go and visit my website, which is transparentwithtina.com. But like I said, my full episodes will be on my YouTube channel, Tina Marks TV, and um, I'll see you there.